Hello lovelies, my name is DK Onya and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a scrunchy head band. So my materials are my scissors, my elastic, as you can see, my safety pin, my check, my tape, and my pieces of fabric. So for the first fabric I cut out is by 47 inches long by 7 inches wide. That's for the first fabric. Then for the second fabric, I cut it by 14 inches long by 4 inches wide. Then for the third fabric, I cut it by 13 inches long by 2.5 inches wide. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine. So here's the fabric, the length of all the fabrics. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it into two like so. Then at one end of the fabric, I'm going to take my tape and measure out half of an inch inch come down by half of an inch at the end of the fabric like so then going by four inches going by four inches like so and mark so i'm going to go ahead and connect the two points together like so a straight line so i take my scissors and cut it off like so so i'm going to repeat the same thing over to the other side of the fabric also so i'm going to go ahead and sew it like so so here is the look after sewing as you can see i stitched it straight to the other edge of the fabric as you can see then I'm going to pick up the second fabric, which is going to be my elastic casing. The second fabric, which is 14 inches long by 4 inches wide. So I'm going to fold it into two like so and sew one, stitch it from one end to the other end like so. That's sewing. Here is how it looks. So I stitch it, as you can see. I'm going to pick up the third fabric which is 13 inches long by two and a half inches wide fold it into two and sew it fold it and stitch another like so then to stitch it from one end to the other end here's the finished look as you can see then bring out the longest of all the fabrics and turn it to the right side with your hand. I'm going to do the same to the two other fabrics using my safety pin to turn them to the right side. So I'm going to show you guys how I use my safety pin to turn the fabric to the right side. So I'm going to put my safety pin very close to the stitch I made like so. Pinning top. Nice. So as you can see. Then I'm going to go ahead and flip the safety pin inside the fabric. Open it up and flip it in and push it in and pull gently till the safety pin comes out from the other end like so. As you can see, easy, right? This is now the right side of the fabric, as you can see. So I did that to the other fabric also. As you can see, I turned them all to the right side. So I'm going to pick up the second fabric, which is uh, 14 inches long by 4 inches wide. That to be our elastic casing and pass in my elastic of 7 inches long. Like so. Pass it in. Be careful, don't push the whole elastic in. So hold it at the tip, like so. Notice that joining there. So joining is going to be in between, like so. Hold it, then take to your sewing machine and sew. So after so you're going to continue passing the elastic to so it comes out from the other end like so then you stitch on take note of our stitch that was placed in between like so 
time stitch on it like so. You can see it's that's one end and the other end also. So here's our third fabric and the first fabric. So I'm going to place our seam line in between. I'm going to go ahead and iron it to put it in place. So I did that to the boot fabric, taking notes of the seam line in between, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the 13 inches long by 2.5 inches wide through the 47 inches long by 7 inches wide, which is the longest of all the fabric, like so, using my safety pin. Don't pass it through, not don't pass all the fabric through. So be careful, hold it from one end and stitch it to secure it. Like so. So you're going to continue to pass the fabric through. It comes out from the other end and then stitch on it. And now after stitching, here's our outcome. It's coming out, right? That's one end the fabric and the other end of the fabric as you can see so here is our elastic casing so i'm going to pick it up and place it where there is no seam line place it where there is no seam line same thing with the two fabric place it on top of each other then what should i'm doing i'm going to fold one side of the fabric covering the smaller fabric close the other end covering the smaller fabric like so then you stitch on it just watch closely so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing to the other side like so as you can see you can see the both sides so i'm going to go ahead and gently pull my elastic casing out just pull it out like so you can see how it looks now that's the inside pull the other side also elastic casing pull it out like so you can see how it looks now then flip it <laughs> as crunchy headband is ready <laughs> so we would use later beautiful right thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day